Okay, here's what's coming up for this new moon in Cancer tomorrow. This is today, Monday, June 27th. Tomorrow is a new moon in Cancer. Guys, this is a beautiful time for us to really be resetting. I mean, I'm personally doing a lot of um, assessment and goal planning. This is about to be the halfway mark of 2022. We are entering Q3. This is a great time for this new moon for you to be considering you know am I where I wanted to be how are, how far along am I on the goals that I've set out for myself for 2022 do I need to pivot am I comfortable with pivoting these are questions I'm asking myself as well please believe cancer with this new moon being in cancer this is a beautiful time for number one for us to get in touch with our emotions because cancer is a very sensitive emotional sign I'm y'all know I'm a cancer moon so I really I relate to you guys cancers this is a time where number one, we're figuring out what feels good to us, okay? What feels comfortable for us, not for anybody else, not pleasing anybody else, but really at this halfway mark of the year, at this new moon, this is a, a great time to clean house, to clean slate. This is more or less the beginning of the summer. You know, we just had the summer solstice a couple weeks ago. This is a seasonal change. This is a great time for transition, for you to be asking yourself, what feels like home to me? I just read that on um, somebody's, was it Refinery29? I think I was reading it on Refinery29 with cancer being the sign that rules home. It's not just about your physical home, but also what feels like home, who feels like home. This is a time for you to unapologetically choose what, what feels comfortable to you, reset for you not for anybody else okay now I pulled a couple cards just to figure out you know what do my people need for this new moon we have okay frog spirit reversed okay time to declutter clear out the clutter I mean hello new moon new season new transitions new beginnings time to declutter this is the time to do it really look in front of you and say where am i where did i want to be am i close to that am i mad at that how do i feel about that especially how do i feel about that this is a time for you specifically to be focused on how you feel about things not how you think you should be doing things or going about things okay and more importantly having patience with yourself okay the turtle spirit reversed slow and steady wins the race Okay, this is not a time for you to be beaten up on yourself about where you're not, where you thought you would be, what you thought you would be doing. This is not the time for that. This is the time for you to be honestly and genuinely being patient with yourself, trusting the process, enjoying the process, understanding that you're not supposed to be running right now, bitch, you need to get off the treadmill, you need to walk a mile okay let the mother bitches tire themselves out okay you catch your fucking breath because you're gonna you know these people other people are running races for their ego to keep their ego happy to present a certain version of themselves that they think people want to see or whatever but a lot of these people are unfulfilled is the truth honestly a lot of people are unfulfilled baby so you need to not worry about okay everybody's running circles around me fuck i'm still on lap number one that's okay because guess what they're gonna get real fucking tired and guess who's gonna have the energy to keep going because you were on the right path it might have been slower but you're on the right path but in order for you to stay on track, you got to do a, a quick assessment, figure out what needs to go. What, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about, you know, running a race. What extra clothing do you need to take off? It's, it's summer. Do you still have on that fucking jacket? You're probably sweating up a fucking storm. Take that shit off. You don't need it. Did you put on the right shoes? Okay. Do you need to stop and get some sweatbands so that you don't get... I'm making a lot of analogies, but y'all get it, okay? Y'all get it. All right, listen, hey, if this resonated with you, 
awesome. Slash is in my lap because it's raining today and she is really not feeling this weather. She, that's pretty much the only time she gets clingy and I, also Sasha is definitely a cancer y'all so, <laughs> so she doesn't like this weather when it's when it's like this she likes being close to me so sometimes I just have to deal with it being her being my lap while I'm working if this resonated with you go to my bio and click book now book yourself a new moon reading I'm actually not doing any events this week as of today who knows that might change you know tomorrow or tonight or whatever but while i still have it on my calendar go ahead and book a session with me to do your new moon reading if you are interested in doing some sisterhood soul circle key keying then go to my link and click join ascension sisters i'll be doing a collective new moon reading there and the ascension sisters app um also we're coming up on the beginning of the month so if you would like a personal monthly forecast for July you can also book that reading as well you could book both readings if you want to all of that is on book now and link in my bio so thank you so much for watching this video drop a comment if it resonated otherwise I hope to see you again soon bye